We'll kick off the post braid though. A horse just missed in graded stakes company two back. Here's Castle Chaos. Yeah, can can he get up going the seven furlongs against this type? Getting that big Kendrick Carmouche warm up. There's Whittington Park. Whittington Park looked like what Maggie was talking about, big imposing individual yeah. last time and got up. Next in the post braid will be Super Chow, Matty Olver looking for three in a row. He is going to be loose on the lead and comfortable. Now the fine line is, is allowing him to do enough to kind of keep everybody else occupied or what you want to keep them off the bride a little chasing you and not doing too much, you don't have something left. That, that's the art of riding a front runner. And out last in the post parade, there is the three post time. Looks like he's not even going to link up with the pony. Why risk it? Well, Sheldon knows him well, and uh, he, boy, he is a good-looking son of Frosted, isn't he? He just really carries himself so well. Maggie called him a male mom. Information about horses and how they need to be handled. He goes in four to five, our first graded stake on the program. The Carter coming up next, presented by Naira Betts. We're live here at Aqueduct. Chris Griffin has the call. Post time. And there's Super Chow. All set for the Carter, presented by Naira Betts. And they're off. Super Chow broke beautifully from the outside. It's Super Chow right out to the front. Whittington Park is switched right to the outside. Is going to stalk that pace setter who tries to back it down. Matty Over wants to slow things down up front, and that's going to allow Whittington Park ready to challenge up on the outside. And now Super Chow lets it out another notch. Super Chow wants to go. Over just hugs that rail, and there's Whittington Park now out in the center of the racetrack, tracking from second. The two at the back. It's Castle Chaos and Post Time. They're content to sit towards the back, and they went a crawling 24.38 for that opening quarter mile, well within Super Chow's range. It's Super Chow who's in front, is up by three quarters of a length here in the Carter as they work into the far turn. Super Chow is in front. Whittington Park continues to stalk right there from second. Getting the hurry up from the back is Castle Chaos, and post time will have to pass them all into very tepid fractions. It's Super Chow who went 48 seconds flat for a half mile time, and now letting it out, it's Super Chow well clear. Super Chow ready to sprint for home as they approach a quarter mile left to go. Hugging that rail is Matty Over, and now Super Chow is trying to kick away. It's Super Chow who's straightening up. What does Super Chow have left? Castle Chaos is making up ground, and here comes post time on the grandstand side. Super Chow drifting like he does. Here comes post time to the outside, and Castle Chaos, the one hugging the rail, drifting out there. Super Chow, post time to the outside. Castle Chaos down to the inside, down to these two. Post time. Post time got up in the final stages over Castle Chaos, Super Chow, and Whittington Park in 1 minute 24 seconds flat in the Carter, presented by Naira Betts. Post time with the win. Back-to-back -back Carter victories for Brittany Russell. There's a lot going on here to unpack, Richie. With the way we talked about the track, a huge effort from Castle Chaos up the rail. And post time having to navigate in the center of the track with a drifting Super Chow. Super Chow is hampering his forward progress drifting, which is what he does. Yeah. It, it, that's not Maddie's fault. This is what he does. The fact that he was able to get up and overcome that wide journey with Super Chow drifting him out, um, it, 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 this was a huge effort. Post time was decidedly best. And sometimes, and I said what a big fan of the rider out. Post time, much the best in here. Back to back Carter.